Battlegrounds Mobile India is open for pre-registration. Alan Wake 2 is coming very soon. And Ubisoft said what? Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back once again to Gamer Connect. My name is Abhi aka Gaming Madness and you guys are watching Top Gaming News of this very week. Battlegrounds Mobile India is coming to mobile which is made by the same creators of PUBG Mobile that is Krafton which means PUBG Mobile is coming back to India. Last week we came to know that the game exists and is coming very soon but there was no talks about the release date. However now you can pre-register yourself in your Android phone from tomorrow that is May 18th which means you will be able to play the game when it comes out and not only that you will be able to get some special goodies and rewards. Crafton did mention earlier that they will release the pre-registration dates when the game is about to launch which means that the game might be very close to a launch. So this means that you guys need to be ready with your mobile phones and ready with your squad because PUBG Mobile aka Battlegrounds Mobile India is coming to your mobile phones. So get ready to launch the BMI who apparently had a different meaning but now it has changed. Are you excited about Battlegrounds Mobile India coming to mobile very very soon? Let me know in the comments below. Ubisoft Update announced that the next Division game will be called Heartland is a free to play game which is interesting to see that a Division game is going to be free to play. But it looks like that's the plan for the Ubisoft in the future. According to the Chief Financial Officer of Ubisoft, their plan is not only to release premium games per year but instead work on bringing more free to play games for people to enjoy. According to him, they want to maintain a high cadence of content delivery including powerful premium and free-to-play releases and basically trying to convince people to play new games from Ubisoft. After the free-to-play game Hyperscape being super successful, wait what? It wasn't successful? Oh I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. After Hyperscape being a total flop, Ubisoft is trying to bring more free-to-play games for people to play because they want to showcase what free-to-play games from their side should look like and that apparently begins from Heartland. People invest a lot more time and even money in terms of getting cosmetics and looks like Ubisoft wants to go in that direction themselves. Ubisoft has even promised that these free-to-play games will be high-end free-to-play games similar to how they work on a triple-A game. Although only time will tell whether any of those free-to-play games will be any good. As of right now, games from Ubisoft such as Far Cry 6 has no release date so hopefully in Ubisoft Forward which is coming out on uh, June 12th, we will get to know maybe about Far Cry 6. Their game Skull and Bones is delayed once again and this time it's coming out uh, on 2022 or maybe it's not coming out at all. Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake, another game from Ubisoft, is now going to be launching before April of 2022. What do you think about Ubisoft making free to play games in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Remedy seems to be working on three brand new games. Two of these games are in partnership with Epic. One of them is going to be a triple A game and the other one is going to be a smaller scale effort. Along with that comes a live service game codenamed Vanguard. Remedy recently said in a quarterly business review that all three games are coming out very well including their single player campaign of Crossfire X and Crossfire HD. The AAA game is moving into full production with Epic Games and the second one which is a small scale game continues to be in full production. The CEO of Remedy states that the live service game codenamed Vanguard which is also a free to play game is shaping up very well as they are going to do an internal play testing and also the next phase of external play testing will begin sometime soon. But the biggest thing out of all of this is that AAA game that Remedy is working with Epic Games. And as we know Control which is the latest game from Remedy was kind of supported by Epic Games. So it is kind of obvious that Alan Wake 2 might be the next AAA game. We also know that in Control there was a DLC with Alan Wake in it. I mean not entirely Alan Wake in it, I mean you could not see him but there was still him in the game because you can hear his voice. So which means they are making some kind of a universe with Control and Alan Wake. Remedy previously even said that they are going to make a universe of Control and Alan Wake moving forward after that DLC of Control which means that the next game should be Alan Wake 2. Now an industry insider by the name Jeff Grubb says that Remedy is making Alan Wake 2 with Epic Games and it should be a sequel following the first game. Well this scoop from the industry insider should not be taken that seriously but regardless since Remedy is making a new AAA game I think Alan Wake 2 should be the next biggest guess. 
If I talk about Alan Wake, it is one of the fantastic horror games made by Remedy. Previous to that, Remedy was known for Max Payne, but with Alan Wake, the gears turned and they brought themselves into the supernatural genre as well. Ever since Alan Wake, we did not see a true sequel to the game. Other than that ridiculous Alan Wake game that was also made, which nobody was interested in. I, I don't even know why that exists anymore. So, are you guys excited about Alan Wake 2? I am very much. I have not played Control completely, but I've decided to complete it at some point in time. But Alan Wake for me was amazing and I hope so that Alan Wake 2 will be even better. It looks like we guys might get some more information regarding Overwatch 2 as the new director, Aaron Keller, talked in a video about the very same. He said that on May 20th, they will be doing a live stream showcasing some of the maps and the changes that Overwatch 2 will have on the PvP site. He will be joined by the dev team to talk and discuss about these changes. According to Keller, everything will be shown in the stream is not final as the game is still under development and they will be talking even more about PvP later this year. It looks like their plan is to share more information about PvP action because they have been talking a lot more about PvE. Overwatch has always been about PvP action regardless of how much PvE content there is. But the fact that Overwatch 2 has focused more on PvE, I think I should be more focused or I, should, I want to see more about PvE instead of PvP. I want to see what new things they're bringing into this PvE side and why should I buy Overwatch 2 because of that. We do know that Overwatch 2 PvP will be played in Overwatch, which means you don't need to buy Overwatch 2 if your plan is to play only PvP. What we won't get on May 20th is the release date. I don't think so they will be announcing a release date on a stream with some developers. I think they want to wait and do a perfect launch of a release date since there is no confirmation that Blizzard will be coming to E3 for this year. I have my eyes peeled on Overwatch 2 since that's a game that I never uninstalled ever since day one. I know you can call me whatever you want, but I loved Overwatch and I still do. But regardless of all of that, I want to see what Overwatch 2 is all about. And yes, PvP is amazing, but I want to see what new things they are bringing and hopefully this stream does that. Call of Duty seems to be always on the news as this time around, characters from movie stars are coming into Warzone. That's right, it's always good to bring some 80s hero action in a video game rather than bringing some Call of Duty OG characters. Activision themselves confirmed that they are bringing 80s hero actions that is Rambo and Die Hard star John McClane coming into Warzone. First of all, Call of Duty tweeted out stats of a player named Survivor John who had 552 kills and Rambo having 5 movies has actually killed total of 552 people according to the wiki page. Then came another tweet showing the stats of another player by the name Cowboy McLean since John McLean in the movie was referred to as Cowboy in many times. But now Call of Duty confirmed upon the action hero coming to Warzone on May 20th. And it's not only Warzone, they're also coming to Call of Duty Mobile. So get ready to play as Rambo and play as Die Hard Guy because that was exactly what was missing in this game. E3 2021 is happening on June 12th to June 15th as an online event because pandemic is not over yet. You should really remember that. This event will be a four day long live streaming showcasing games and announcement from different publishers. Ubisoft and Square Enix will be hosting their own live event throughout the week with Ubisoft hosting its Ubisoft Forward on June 12th. Everyone will get to watch the event live on YouTube and Twitch and people this time can watch with an interactive overlay including polls and pop-up interaction as they can watch it from the official website as well as the smartphone app. EA will be doing their own live event on July 22nd which is far away from the E3 official date and that's the only info so far we know about live events. This is that time of the year when new games are basically announced in E3 with different publishers and I'm just waiting to see what new games can come around especially from Capcom. I'm hoping that there is Resident Evil 9 even though I, I think there should not be a Resident Evil 9 but uh, you know please just something. Well that is all going to be it in this episode of Top Gaming News. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some information out of it. If you did leave a like, comment down below what you think about any of the news we just discussed in this episode and do not forget to subscribe for Gamer Connect because we have more content coming every week for you guys to consume it for free. So enable that notification bell icon so that you get to know everything first. My name is Abhi aka Given Manus and I shall see you guys 
in the next video. Until then, stay awesome, stay safe, and remember to have fun and play a lot of video games.